sunny day in West London. Queen's Park Rangers coming out for the second half. No changes, I gather, for either side. The Queen's Park Rangers may have to change their mindset from the last 20 minutes or so of the first period when Martin Leeds were very much on top, weren't they? Well, they certainly were, and it, it seemed just simple long balls were causing problems for, for the central defenders. You know, they just need to keep a higher line for me and try and contest those headers a lot better than they were. But, you know, it's a hot day here. You know, the, it's, it's difficult for them to, to concentrate on what's at hand because of all the emotion of earlier on. And there was a lot of emotion. There were tears in that dressing room. We spoke to Neil Warner before the game. But now, what they've got to do now is apply themselves correctly. I'm sure they can go on and win this game now. 1-1, one, one. Queen's Park Rangers in the famous blue and white hoops. We'll kick us off and underway in this second period. Kicking from left to right, Heide Helgerson, the goal scorer, taking his customary wide position for a kickoff. QPR unbeaten here in the league since Watford triumphed back in December, 11 games ago. An early throw for Leeds United. And towards Billy Painter. Radel to challenge Gorks. Away by Gorks. <laughs> He's looking for Painter again. There's the man behind him, out by Derry, no nonsense there. This has always been... Tremendously atmospheric ground, old, old-fashioned ground, tight to the touch lines, the stands. And one or two Premier League teams next season won't fancy it here. No, he always reminded me like the Sabutio Stadium, you know, that perfect stadium, the stands, the way they were. Not the biggest of stadiums, but it's, it's very, very tight here. The crowd are right on top of you, a very difficult place to play your football. Pusaki. Fallin. are looking for Routledge, it's a goal kick to Leeds United. The Championship Trophy will be presented on the field of play after this game, by the way. He will come out as Keith Curl alongside him as assistant manager. Mick Jones is there with him as well, he's been with Neil over the years. Nigel Cox, the physiotherapist, very much part of Neil Warnock's team. Off the field members as important as on the field members. I think that was better there from Connolly. You know, go and attack the ball. Don't get pinned by the strikers. Go and win the ball. These have played well here after that terrible start. Painter battling hard for it. Hasn't been his season really. And Sean Berry broken beyond two Leeds players. Johnson trying to catch him up. And the crowd will rise to Sean Berry because he's never been blessed with Olympic sprinting pace. He's now, what, 33 years of age? And he tore off after that one. Interesting people talking at half-time about players, and, you know, is he going to be one of those that, that moves on? And I, I think he's realistic, you know, if something happens, he, you know, he'd be a great signing for somebody else. He, he's proven that he's a successful player in getting promotions, and who knows, he might just have a, a little go in the Premiership this time and prove what he can do. Wherever he's been, you know, Palace and... Leeds, Portsmouth, Sheffield United and so on. He's always been respected by supporters because he's given that effort, Sean Derrick. And he's tried to stab it back. Bit of a fragmented opening to the second period. Real high with the throw. Connolly. Touching the second half of the goalkeeper, Radic Cherney. Played at Watford last week, it was his first game of the season. Pulled into the side late because Paddy Kenny injured his shoulder in the warm up. Near to fitness today, Paddy Kenny. Not quite. Here's Orr. O'Brien's header. 
Farnham was underneath it. That's Paul Connolly. Out by Hill. Hill now 32. There he is, 33. Fitzhall, who's out of the side today, played last week. He has a hamstring. Don't think he would have played anyway with Hill's fitness, but he's in his 30s. Helgerson's 33. QPR will have decisions to make. I hope to have uh, Jonathan Macken back fully fit after that. Jonathan, uh, Jamie Mackey back, I should say, after um, his broken leg. And they will be strengthening. To do it, let's be honest. Smith and blocked there by Naylor. Smith again. Kill Kenny. And then he'll drop back a couple of yards to make himself some space. Up towards Gradle. He needs a plate to feet, really. Stolen away by Tommy Smith. He's fallen. Shaki, oh, he's misplaced that horribly. McCormack, Kilkenny, saw so only O'Brien short there, but O'Brien whipped it forward. Lehigh, McCormack, he's dropped really deep at times, hasn't he, McCormack, to pick up the ball? Yes, and that's not where you want him, you want him in an advanced position. They've got Johnson pushed forward in an advanced position at the start of the second second half. Kilkenny now. Back to Housen. The one was by Connolly. Can he keep it in and get the cross in though? No, just too much on that pass, wasn't there from Housen? No, he wants to get as much as he can out of this, this Leeds team, but the game's gone strangely flat at the moment. You know, what you're looking for really is for QPR just to go and enjoy the occasion and get forward and, and play their stuff. Maybe that fella's setting the tone. Never very, very rarely do you see him with a smile on his face. Approaching his 12th game as a league manager, Neil Warner. Tends to polarise opinion. Controversial and outspoken, the Queen's Park Rangers manager, but he... Tells it as he sees it. He loves football as well, doesn't he? You know, he's a football is his life. Thomas Johnson now in a deeper position, pursued by Derek, turning away from him. Hands on approach from Helgerson. Yeah, Johnson's done well there. Gets away from Derry, but not Helgerson, who brings him down eventually. Connolly with the cross. Naylor had stayed forward, it's loose, it came off Corks, the header down, hit Connolly. Leeds fans behind that goal, thought it might have been a handball. They thought they should have had one in the first half. Here's Tommy Smith, and now Queen's Park Rangers can break. Pusaki, movement to his right-hand side, holding on to it. Straight it, Schmeichel, the goalkeeper. Usaki yeah, does well there. What I like, he does, he gets across the retrieving defender there. Expect the keeper to save it, of course. Hey, look, it just gets in front of the defender. And that's swirling around a little bit. Michael does well to see that into his, into his hands. Was that handball there? Or very, very close range, hit him. Don't think he could have got his arm out of the way. Didn't know much about it, but it's not handball for me there. There's Connolly. That just hits him. I, to be honest, I, I don't even think he knows where the ball is. It just literally hits him. So for me, he gets the benefit of the doubt there. He certainly did in the first half when Leeds thought he fouled Painter one clean through. Here's Connolly with the free kick. Aimed up towards Gorks, his centre half partner, Pusaki. Talented player, Pusaki. Missed four months of the season with a knee injury. And uh, I 
think he's going to go off any moment now and the crowd favourite will come on to Rapt. But here's Derek. Looking for Raw. Four in the middle. He's had a look. Played into Routledge. He tried the one-two. Johnson. And now Kilkenny. Slid it forward to Painter. Gradle. Four ball back by Painter. The fullback had made the run. It was ill time the return to him. It's a threat of Queen's Park Rangers who are going to make the change now. And listen to the welcome for Terat. Bushaki's seen his numbers up. Well, Terat deserves everything he gets. He wanted to come and play football here. Left up at Tottenham Hotspurs. And it's turned out fantastically well for him. Good management as well. Get him on now. Stadium going a little bit flat, and this will certainly lift it because he's been their outstanding player. Takes the captain's armband again, the championship player of the year. 19 goals he scored this season. The Moroccan international, five in his last five. And you'll see him up there alongside the main striker. You'll see him darting elusively, perhaps into a deeper role. He's very advanced at the moment. Helgerson is. Dropped in slightly deeper. Naylor away. Beyond Derry's header. Here's all. Back to Derry. He's wound back the ears today. Certainly has. Four by Gorks. Looking for Terrat. Johnson McCormack Lee High Kilkenny to O'Brien four by Naylor Kilkenny other scores coming in from both England and Scotland. Swansea leading Sheffield United by two goals to nil in the battle for playoff places. Here's Painter, meanwhile, that's way over the top. And don't forget, there's such an important game in Scotland as well. Rangers against Hearts, 4 nil up. Uh, an own goal there by Stevenson, and the gap will widen over Celtic tonight to four points. Introduction now to Rat will liven this game up. You know, I was talking to Neil Warnock earlier in the season about him, and he said, Yes, he can be difficult to manage, but he looks at what he can do, not what he can't do. And he's really embraced the talent that he has. He sets the tone for this team. Here he is now, Tarat. Second in the players' player vote for player of the year here, and the supporters' vote for player of the year here behind Paddy Kenny. That's well one back. Tommy Smith to wraps ahead of him. Smith goes for it, deflected off Naylor, corner kick. <laughs> Queen's Park Rangers, second corner of the game. Terrific atmosphere in the ground. It's a party, whatever the score. Flags flying proudly. Been a while since Queen's Park Rangers fans could do that. They've had such good players here over the years, though. Rodney Marsh, Dave Clement, Nick Leach. And it comes to the new generation. Schmeichel came and didn't gather it. It's still loose. Smith rises, Schmeichel. That's better goalkeeping, but he made a hash of it initially. Yeah, I think he's making up there for the fact that he should come earlier for the cross. He doesn't, he sort of scrambles to it, but he's up on his feet quickly. And here you see his, his athleticism. In the end, it's a good save, but he's making up for, for his own mistake.
Tarach will take the corner. He has height in the middle in Orr and Gorks. And Halgerson to the near post. And there's Orr. Keeper makes sure. Well, I think the referee is giving a goal kick. He must be suggesting that the ball was already out. Perhaps he's right on this occasion. But it has to be the whole of the ball. Seemed to flip his hand back beyond the bar, didn't he, the goalkeeper? Just to make sure. That goes Gorks. Drops to Kilkenny. Forward by Routledge. Naylor down. Connolly inside. And he's seen out of the ball, Neil Kilkenny. Johnson trying to play it wide to Lehigh. Too high that for the American international. Even if Leeds make the playoffs, which now is almost impossible, he can't play because emergency loan periods. He's on, he's on loan from Aston Villa only last 93 days, so Sonny Grace will have to make a, a change. On my nail up. One in the air by Gorks. Kilkenny picks out Gradle. Chance here for Leeds. Well, there he is again in that central position. He looks for a shot from distance. And as he gets into those little pockets, it's very difficult to pick up. But for me there, I think he needs to pass it. And just on the outside of his shoulder there on the right. So there's a Leeds player looking for it, just needs a bit more vision. Yes, you want your strikers to be greedy at times, but be more collective and look around you if someone's in a better position. Better on by Helgerson to Routledge. It's going to be a determined day. He's young Kilkenny. Trying to play, isn't he, Kilkenny? You know, he's determined to play his football, isn't he, a young man in there? And I think that's the Leeds way, is to pass the ball. Here he is now, keeps everything simple. O'Brien brings it out. McCormack rather waited for the ball to come on, but he's won it back now, Kilkenny. And again. Looking out wide. That's well wide. Good end to the regular season for Swansea. Ben and Rogers side hitting the playoffs in form. 3 0 up against Sheffield United. Cardiff losing at Burnley. Swansea would leap for it over them into third place. Dobby getting the goal. And Cardiff will be ending the season very flat. And so often, Martin teams that end the season in that sort of flat manner don't do well in the playoffs and of course Cardiff suffered that heartache in the playoffs last season yes they certainly did they've done well to come back from that and of course their last week was uh, devastating against Middlesbrough but you know you've got to look at it now and if they're going to finish one place lower that changes who they're playing in the playoff looks like they could end up playing Reading and Reading are the form team at the moment here's Derry for Queen's Park Rangers He's about to bring on David Sommer, it seemed to me. Here's Tara. Turning. Nelson is there with him. Fouling. Stroked out wide. Good ball, but Helgerson's run opened up that space. It was a clever run. Smith has used it. In comes the cross. O'Brien's header. Very well positioned. Has that? Wiley old knowledge to drop into the right positions. One easily by the unopposed Naylor. Painter. We've seen that Leeds are about to make a substitution. He finds Gradle. Hill didn't panic, did the right thing, just stole it away. The defending. Gradle just fancies his chances, doesn't he? Every time he gets the ball for them, for Leeds, he looks a real threat. Sommer, the South African international, has 12 goals this season. Only made a couple of starts since early February, but he has scored six goals from the bench this season. Ooh, clash of heads there. 
Elgerson. And uh, Farlin is claiming there was an elbow used there. Well, Elgerson, I mean, for him to go down there, it has to be an arm. Naylor was the man with it. Oh, yes. Well, the referee's perfectly placed for that. You'd have to say that there's a, a, a yellow card coming out for that, at least. He certainly just simply couldn't have seen it. I don't think Halgus is best pleased with that one. He is irate. He's certainly letting him know there, isn't he? Oh, there's no question. Oh, bang, it's, you know, it's... And I think Naylor's going down because he knows if he doesn't, he's in big trouble. So making a substitution. Ramage is the man who's come on, Peter Ramage. He picked up a knee injury against Middlesbrough in September and missed seven months. This is only his fourth appearance of the season. And there's David Sommer. He has come on. And Painter has gone off for Leeds. He is the man who went off for Queen's Park Rangers, by the way. Hill has suffered a recurrence of the ankle injury that he's been carrying for weeks. Here's Foulin, Routledge. Oh, beautifully beyond Connolly. And he switched it. Look at the Tommy Smith. Just wonder again if he got the ball in early before he checked back. He had Tarrapt and Helgerson in good positions in the middle. Yeah, you know, that's where you're looking for the vision, and you're going to need that next season, that extra bit of quality. You know, make the, the correct passes, it's decision making for players, that's what sorts out, you know, the average player from the top player. Ramage, of course, coming on at the back, and Matthew Connolly will slide across to, to left back. They have that about them where people can slot across the back and, and fill in, they're so flexible, this team. The chairman of the Football League. Fred Clark is here. The trophy is here. And Queen's Park Rangers will be picking it up in 24 minutes, whatever the result. This game is very much in the balance. Housen, Kilkenny. McCormack with the shot that was blocked. Connolly. Here's McCormack. Nearly got into the gap. He's got his shot away. It's deflected. It's. 2-1, it took a horrible deflection, but it's McCormack's goal. And I think it's Ramage that's come off, who's just come off the bench. <laughs> Leeds United behind in the opening minute of the game, lead 2-1 at the confirmed champions. Well, I mean, he, to be fair, he, he just gets lucky, he just hits it, and it comes off the defender, and it flies into the back of the net. I mean, the first defender there is Ramage, Gorks, no, it, it comes off. It comes off Gorks behind him, and you know you look at this, and really it's just it's the occasion, it's the way the game's been played, and a little bit sloppy there. Lee's obviously just want to win it, maybe there's a little bit more, but there's luck. The luck we said about luck for QPR today, but it's certainly fortunate them Leeds United on that occasion. He'll claim the goal though, won't he, McCormack? Big deflection. He will. But he'll claim the he goal. will, but for me it's an own goal. Radel, Housen, and Kilkenny, who's driven Leeds back into this game. He Kilkenny. has. I mean, he, he's wanted the ball at all times, and he, he can play as well, the boy. Johnson. Kept on by Lee Hyde. And that's a dangerous run. And the keeper had to get down fairly smartish. Routledge uses his pace to get away from Gradle. Good sprint that between the two. He's come a long way in towards Helgerson. Gradle got the touch away for Leeds. 
Well, he stuck to the task there, Gradle, didn't he? Got back for his team. Saw the difference there at Routledge, didn't you? Suddenly went through the gears, and that's what QPR need to do now. Derek. Fowling. Disappeared from the game, Fowling, after a bright start. And here's Sommer. Oh, he's gone beyond box. Well, that was a some turn of pace, wasn't it? Just looks to me as if Queen's Park Rangers weak as champions, not champions. Champions again has caught up with them. Well, somewhere here, I mean, he comes alive. You know, he got, he's got good pace. You're suddenly wondering, wondering why is he not on from the start? But there, that's Lehigh coming in from the left on his right peg, testing the goalkeeper. And, you know, again, they could perhaps have got a bit tighter, QPR there. Smith, it was a good claim by Derry in the air. Smith's asked a lot of questions there for Routledge. Paul Connolly can simply shepherd the ball out of play. Some consolation for Simon Grayson and his Leeds team to be able to say they won at the Champions. And just let me remind you, if you have just turned on, Neil Warnock side are the Champions. About an hour before kick-off, the Football Association put out a statement saying that there will be no points deduction for Queen's Park Rangers. It's cleared away by McCormack. I'm sure he will claim and get the lead second goal. The statement read, the Regulatory Commission hearing charges brought by the FA against QPR wish to announce that although two of the charges have been found to be proved, there will be no points deduction made from Queen's Park Rangers in this season or the next. Here's Kilkenny, he's had a super game, bold over there. Hamish was the offender, he's taking the free kick quickly. And here's Sommer. He on that occasion. But he's bright, isn't he? He's bright, and he has in Kilkenny a player that just won't be denied. He's trying to play there, it was his early ball that he puts him in. He looks sharp and he's looking to shoot early. And if he did have his scoring boots on today, he might already have two by now. The lead to get into the playoffs, they needed to win here. Forrest needed to lose at Crystal Palace with a six-goal swing. I don't think that's going to happen. The scorer of the game's opening goal departs. Neda Helderson goes off. And then Danny Shitu, very much a folk hero in these parts. Originally signed for QPR on loan back in 2001, the deal was made permanent the following January from Charlton. And he's just come back on a short-term contract, Danny Shitu. And the referees had a word with the assistant referee for one of the Leeds players. Oh, it's Tarat. I thought initially it was for a Leeds player. Well, that was after consultation with one of his other officials. Well, we missed that, but he must have said something. You know, he, that ill-discipline has to has to disappear, I'm afraid, if he's going to survive in the Premiership. Must have... I think maybe he must have had a word with the linesman. There was a conflict then afterwards between the referee, a couple of QPR players and the Leeds players. Well, he's put Shitu on at the back, so obviously concerned about some of the, the aerial stuff. Up towards Summer. He's actually put Shitu on up front. He's a big, stayed up there. Uh, big burly player. Queen's Park Rangers rattled. I think he's just explaining the decision to book yeah. to wrapped. What was a joyous occasion for Queen's Park Rangers is becoming a bit of a, a fractious one. This, this is the incident that led up to it. Yeah. Obviously not happy with the challenge. Must have had a word with the linesman. 
He's saying something. Cool Kenny's reaction is to, to suggest the bottom lip was quaving a little bit. Paddy Keane was the uh, assistant referee involved. All lot to do about nothing, really. Let's get on with the game. Found him with the header. So much talk about him off the. Journey made it. Part of the Leeds equation today was they had to win at Queen's Park Rangers and Nottingham Forest had to lose at Crystal Palace. Forest, we heard earlier on, were 1 0 up at Crystal Palace. They now lead 2 0. So this not good enough at the moment for Leeds. Easy enough there for Schmeichel. Leeds are about to make a, another change. And well, this is a lovely moment to see Patrick Kisnorbo back in action. He ruptured his Achilles some 14 months ago. Summer chasing. Johnson lets it run. Kenny with the shot. Off McCormack. Journey surely then the forward just ran in, ran at Journey, didn't he then? I would have thought McCormack. Well, I mean that the goalkeeper is trying to get to it. They see a replay of this. Naylor's gonna go off. And he'll hand the captain's armband to Johnny Howson. Patrick Kuznorbo, the Australian international, will come on. His first game in over a year. He wears the headband to protect an old injury. That same in the summer, who pushed his man, pushed into Ramage. Good decision there. Yeah, just looking at the goalkeeper, we'd like to see, have a look at this again. He, you wonder at times today, he came out for the goal, made the mistake maybe on this occasion. It comes for another high ball, it's up in the air. And just look at McCormack there, I think he just tries to impede him. And the referee's missed that. Here's Derek. Looking for all, Lehigh comes. Pitch litter with blue and white balloons. Ten minutes before Queen's Park Rangers have their championship party. The trophy will be awarded if the supporters stay off the field of play, but it's going to be a difficult ask. And such a long wait for Queen's Park Rangers fans to get back into the top flight. Relegated in the Premier League in 1996 and down again in 2001. They came up to the second flight in uh, 2004. Connolly will take the throw. Looks for Shitu. Turned away from Housen, but not O'Brien. He shows they've had to put him up there. He's obviously a recognised centre centre half. Needs must. But, you know, that's the sort of areas they're going to have to improve. You know, in the Premiership, you want to have to be able to pick from three or four top strikers. Needs. Because if they are going to miss out on the playoffs and they'll rue recent drop points at Crystal Palace and Millwall and Derby. And a couple of points dropped at home to Watford and home to Reading. Summer. He's a willing runner, isn't he, into those channels. Gives them a little bit extra with his pace when he's come on. Find a way to beat 
beaten six before today for Leeds. And cost them dearly. But they are making progressive steps towards the elite of English football after such a terrible time. Nelson feeding McCormack. It's asking a little bit too much, I think, of Lehigh. Yeah, that's Lehigh, the fullback. Shows you how much they're attacked in this second half leads. He's got forward at every opportunity. And to get experience of first team football from Aston Villa, the 21 year old USA international Lehigh. Johnson, McCormack. Johnson wants it played in field again. Good switch towards Gradle, on towards Kilkenny. Cork edges it out. Tarat. Ratledge. Farlin. Smith is wide. Tarat wants it again. Derry has Connolly wide on the left hand touchline. That's a lovely pass. Connolly to Tarat. Tried the Hollywood stuff there a little bit. Howson. The captain's armband of Leeds, so proudly local lad, Leeds fan. Simon Grayson has a few of them in his squad, supporters of the football club. And here's Orr away, blocked by O'Brien, Lehigh. Still a spring in the step of Leeds, they want more. Just over six minutes to go, Lehigh. McCormack. Just flicked the outside of the woodwork. Seems such an adventurous effort. Wow, it's an outstanding effort from that distance. And he means it as well. He's lined it up. He's really given that a thump. I'm not sure the keeper's getting anywhere near that. No one really closing him down, so he decides to hit him. QPR seemed in slow motion then with McCormack setting himself up the shoot. I think we maybe give them the excuse today. In towards Summer, he's offside. Yeah, again, it's a good run. It's a good, good play from Leeds. But I think we give QPR the excuse of maybe the occasion. All the drama before the game has affected them today. Still time left, but this might end up with a good win for Leeds. Leeds to make another substitution. Matt's Gradle, who was very dangerous in the first half and equalised the Helgerson early goal. He's replaced by Sanchez Watt on loan to Leeds from Martin's old club, Arsenal. He's mainly been used as a, a substitute. He was a very important member of Arsenal's 2009 under-18 double-winning side. Here's Routledge. Tadapt. Header away by O'Brien. Swansea winning, Cardiff is still losing, so Swansea will finish above Cardiff. Nottingham Forest are winning at Crystal Palace. Leeds won't make the playoffs. QPR will have the championship trophy even if they lose. Here's Shitu. Or Forlin. Aimed at Tarapt. Headed away by Paul Connolly. Bizarre and mixed week he's had. Elation, frustration, imminent depression, jubilation. And by Routledge. Just wants Tommy Smith there at the far post, isn't he? Coming in after that cross. It's not happening for QPR at the moment. I was going to say capitulation for Neil Warnock, but he would never give in any cause. But he wants to win this cause. game. We heard his comments before the match. And I think, you know, it, it'd be a bit disappointed, strangely, but, you know, look at the bigger picture and what they've achieved this season has been outstanding, and I think they'll take this as long as they get promotion. Oh, a lovely moment there. Well, that's nice, isn't it, after all of that, that they can, can be friends. Well, one manager's seen it all, and the other one is rising up through the game very quickly. 
Stuart Blackpool. Promotion to the Championship in 2006-07, Simon Grayson. So leads up. Routledge has runners to left and right. Smith is in space, he feeds him. Tommy Smith! Keeper spread himself in the manner of uh, Ash Michael. All credit again to Michael. It's the speed at which he comes out for this which impresses me most. Good football from QPR. Routledge coming inside. Nice run. And then he comes out and shuts the angle down. There's really nowhere that Tommy Smith can go there. Routledge with the cross. That's a good run by Hawks. And he got away from his man and headed wide. And Schmeichel now is screaming at his defenders. Well, we know about Gorks' power in the air, and again it's Routledge. And they come in onto their right foot there, and whips it, look at this ball, it's really difficult to defend against. Any kind of a proper connection there, and that, that's in the back of the net. Flashing cross, good pace on it. Just needed the touch and he got it, but couldn't direct it on goal. Ball with the header forward. To the last couple of minutes. Lehigh, who's been strong for Leeds. Kilkenny, he's been outstanding. Kiz Norbo, he'll be given a, a new short contract at Leeds so that he can prove his fitness pre season. And giving him the chance to do that, Kiz Norbo, which is a nice touch. Sanchez Watts and now Kilkenny. Johnson turning into space. It's a positive run. Looking for Watts who gets the shot. Tawley White. Yep, Sanchez Watts. At first I thought he was. He let it run well across his body there. He thinks he's going to play it and then he snatches at the shot really. He just needs to steady himself. I've seen him a few times. He needs to steady himself in the final third. He has the ability. Just need to press that button of calmness when you're in front of goal. Queen's Park Rangers in the last minute of a momentous season. Neil Warnock has done it again. He's taken the football club to promotion in the Football League. will compete with anything he's done in the game. When he took over Queen's Park Rangers, they were now staring at relegation. He's turned them around. Sanchez Watt. Alson, Kilkenny. They're into two minutes of stoppage time. They're not signalling that to the crowd, I gather. There won't be a board shown. We're into those last two minutes. Johnson, he's normal. You wonder how ironical it might be if QPR do score in the last minute. They left it to the last day of the season to get that decision. Warnock will certainly want to keep going to win this. Or at least, sorry, get back his team into it. Is Normo battling with Danny Shitu and away by O'Brien. Looks like a foul there, doesn't it? A matter of time for the man of the moment. Queen's Park Rangers have a corner off Kilkenny. And he's still shouting, stalling, exhorting more. It's their third corner of the game. Tarapt. Finally with a little chip. She two chases. He's been put her away by Housen. His ramage. That'll be the keepers. And Schmeichel clears away quickly. Too far for Kilkenny, but look at the look. He's got right up to the edge of the box in the 92nd minute. That's it. Applause from Neil Warnock. He has guided another club to promotion in the Football League, a sixth. And after the whole Alejandro fall in a
despair. The FA decided after lengthy investigations there would be no points deduction. Queen's Park Rangers held their points. They win the championship. The trophy will be presented. They hope there wouldn't be a pitch invasion. There has been. They've lost the game 2 1 to Leeds. Helgerson's opener cancelled by Gradle and McCormack. But they've won the title. Queen's